Hey everyone, it's the Vegan Foodie here. So listen, y'all been asking me for a story time about this topic. And so I decided to sit down and just hash it out and tell you about my experience with doing shrooms, a full on story time about this magical experience. So stay tuned for more. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, I'm not like a big advocate for people taking drugs and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So if you do something, don't say the vegan foodie said to do it. And if you know, if you have a horrible experience, but I'm gonna tell you about my experience. Now, first and foremost, I'm gonna be candid. My son is 22 now. And so what happened was he was into psychedelics, right? And so I noticed the change in him and how he was just doing certain things and moving. I was like, you know, I need to see where my son is at, right? Where he's at with doing this. Because my son ain't going to go somewhere that I ain't been and I got to see what's up. Now, granted, you know, we don't do any hard drugs. He's not a drinker. We're not for any type of, you know, strong narcotics. We're not for that. But shrooms, anything spiritual, you know, we be on it. So ayahuasca, all that, we on that, right? So anyway... Um, he introduced me to it. And so the first time that I did it, I had an experience that was memorable, but the experience that I'm going to tell you about wasn't with my son. It was after I had been doing it for a while and I decided to go in, right? So basically Spirit spoke to me and said, Hey, because after doing psychedelics and doing shrooms, I realized the spiritual heightenedness, right? So, you know, Spirit is with you there. You know, your higher self is up there. You be on a different plane, right? So I decided, you know, to just listen to Spirit. Spirit said, do it. Do three grams, which is the eighth, basically, um, by yourself at the crib. Nobody else. Okay, cool. So, you know, I procrastinate, procrastinate, and I said, you know what, well, let me go ahead and do it. So I did it, y'all. Now, granted, I'm going to take you through the zone, right? So, basically, when I first started, um, when I first took it, I was on the phone with my now husband. He was my boyfriend at the time. Um, I was on the phone with him. And we were just talking, 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 you know, and all of a sudden, I could feel myself getting high, right? So, I was like, okay, I got to get off the phone. But before I got off the phone with him, he was speaking in Yoruba, and... I can understand what he was saying. And it was kind of like weird. So I was like, okay, let me hang up the phone and go through my emotion, right? Baby, when I tell you, this was because they say that psychedelics are used for patients. Like some therapists um, prescribe psychedelics for their patients that have depression, right? Um, so, you know, it's used for several different things. So don't think that psychedelics is just for a trip, a drug, you know, it's used to really cleanse you. And if you take it on a different level, um, when it comes to stuff like ayahuasca, DMT, it does a spiritual cleanse. Well, if you're open up to shrooms, it can do the same thing. Trust me. I am attesting to it. So anyway, so I do the shrooms and, um, you know, I start to get high Got off the phone with my dude, and I'm feeling it, right? And I'm feeling it. So it's taking a minute, it's taking a minute. And then when I start to yawn, I know that I'm starting to get high. So I start to yawn, and I started to feel myself going into a, a, a different level. You know, I started to morph and just kind of mesh in with life. And... Um, I had a situation that happened um, because really the situation was I went into it questioning because let me let me backtrack. I went into a question and my question was I had I had to have a mission going. I wasn't gonna get high to be getting high. I had to have a reason, a mission. So it was what is blocking me? What is holding me back? What do I need to address that I haven't addressed? Right? And so 
as I went into that zone, prior to, you know, being a vegan foodie, whatever, years, years ago, I had an ectopic pregnancy. And so when I heard the baby's heartbeat, I knew it was a girl, right? Never really adjust, addressed it, went on with life, you know, even though it was a it was a hurtful situation, even how it happened with, you know, my ex-husband and all that kind of stuff, child. Um, but anyway, um, I never addressed it, right? Cool. And so she came to me, right, in this. And it was her presence, and she wasn't an infant. She was, I guess, around the age that she would be, you know, and spoke to me. And I was kind of like, it was like, I had now I had an out of body experience and I went to meet her in this place. And she spoke to me and said, you never addressed me. You never thought about me. You never, you know, acknowledged me all these years. You gave love to Jay, you even give love to Roxy, which is my, my puppy, but you never acknowledge me, right? I used to say, that was deep. So it was a situation of me acknowledging and she told me that the reason that she went that way, it was either her life or my life. And so she had to make that decision for us. And it was her life. She, 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 she was stopped at the canal and said that if I had had her, that I could have died, you know, from stress or just dealing with my ex-husband and all of the issues. And that now I could have, I would have died, right? And so she sacrificed and I didn't acknowledge that. And so um, I had to acknowledge it and I had to say, I'm sorry. And I had to embrace it and hug her, you know, and have that, that even exchange of just a telepathic moment of just love and compassion from a mother to a child, you know? And so um, after that happened, um, she was, you know, explaining to me that it had been situations where spirits try to take me down, right? And I've had certain experiences, which I'll explain in other story times about me dealing with spirits and why I am spiritual and why I do, why I am the way that I am. Um, but, you know, she just kind of explained to me what was happening. And so in that moment, I felt myself like I wasn't going into a seizure, but I felt myself like going into an emotion. And she was like, just shake it off because it's something that's, you know, you have to do in order to overcome. And so she walked me through this dark fear, you know, and it, it, was, it's, it was so hard to, you know, go through and it was painful, but she walked me through and coasted me to the other side, you know, and granted, this was, you know, because normally when you're doing psychedelics or shrooms, it's like an eight hour span. So this wasn't like a five, 10 minute thing. This was like a 30 minute hour type thing, you know, and it was me going through this portal, you know? And so when I came out of that portal, um, on the other side, it was my now husband and we were one, we were, we, we were one spirit, one energy, one, one this one unit, you know? And so we were having a conversation and we were laughing and it was like an alarm went off. And when the alarm went off, sorry about that. My doorman switched the gin <laughs> because the lights came. But anyway, um, an alarm went off and we split and I felt the split and it was like the male version, this masculine energy, you know, went to one side and he went this way and I went this way. And when I went this way, it was like I went down a water slide. It was a long, 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 long slide. And Spirit was telling me, you know, during the slide, like this is what happens when you forget. This is the wash off. When you forget all of the spiritual things that happens, you know, so that you can come back to it. But some of that get washed off of you. And at the end of that water slide, I was coming out of my mother. It was like her water was breaking and I was coming out. And it was the doctors and it was everything and I could see it. And that was like the rebirth of me, you know? And so um, there were like a couple little other like cool things as far as like, you know, the lights, 
of my place. My furniture looked beautiful. My, my view was beautiful. But I just sat and just in that moment understanding love. You know, I, I even I even understood the love that I had for my husband in that moment. And that was the moment that I really knew that my quest was to love him as a wife. Um, because he's he's the counterpart of me, you know, truly he's the counterpart of me. If you see us together, yeah. We we be on the same tip type type thing, right? So, you know, um it was just spirit was just exposing me and showing me you know, that being with him was me releasing the masculinity that I've had for years because I was a hustler and I had to be, you know, up and popping and getting it lit and, you know, getting to the bag and, you know, being out here and making moves in the industry and just doing this and doing that. And I still had to be a woman, a mother. You know, and so with me having to be the head of the household, the go-getter, the mover and shaker for so many people, you know, not just my me and my son, but for other clients, you know, athletes, reality show people, um, actresses, artists, you know, it was just a lot. It was just a lot, a lot, a lot. And so um, I had to take on this exterior that wasn't me. That wasn't, I wasn't that, you know, and so... Um, Spirit exposed to me in that, in that motion of, you know, during my trip, that he would be giving me the piece of him that was the feminine me that he don't need to have. And I would be giving him my masculinity that I don't have. And together we would be the divine masculine and feminine energy together. Right. And so um, with that, that trip. You know, I kind of, I kind of wasn't really apt to do more trips like that anymore because I've, you know, accomplished what I felt like I needed to accomplish within that time. Um, will I do it again? Yeah, I am. Um, ayahuasca is something that I'm looking into. Um, I'm looking to go to a, a retreat. I found the place in um, a couple places. Um, one is with me in Costa Rica. And there's another one in the States and um, Arizona. So, you know, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm looking to do some extreme cleansing, but I just wanted to share, share my stories, my story time, sorry. I wanted to share my story time with you um, because people was asking me about it in the comments and was like, yo, tell us what's up. What you got going on? So I decided to share that with y'all. But anyway, stay tuned for more of Life with a Vegan Vixen. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And